Developing now, France launches massive airstrikes on ISIS in Syria following the deadly terror attacks in Paris. This as the search continues for a man wanted for carrying out those attacks. A lot of developments today in connection to Friday night's horrific attacks in Paris that cut short the lives of more than 100 people. Here's what we know so far. France is firing back against ISIS, who has claimed responsibility for the attacks. This is as authorities search for that man wanted for helping to carry out the violence. We've also learned tonight that police had questioned that same young man, but actually released him hours after the attacks. The death toll has reached 129. One of those people is American. Hundreds more are injured. The French airstrikes in Syria have destroyed a jihadi training camp and a munitions dump in the city of Raqqa. Here is new video tonight of French jets taking off to carry out those airstrikes. And we, what we understand is that these airstrikes were ordered tonight. The French Defense Ministry says 12 aircrafts have dropped 20 bombs on ISIS targets in Syria. The U.S. is reportedly helping France by giving access to ISIS intelligence. Now, President Obama is expected to hold a press conference tomorrow from the G20 summit in Turkey. All of this happening while French authorities continue their search for a man wanted for carrying out Friday's attacks. 26-year-old Salah Abdeslam was born in Brussels, and he is Brussels rather. He is reportedly one of three brothers suspected of committing the violence. One of his brothers was killed; the other has been arrested. Authorities say a total of eight people carried out the attacks, including Salah. And it turns out French officials stopped and questioned him hours after the attacks began on Friday, and they decided to release him not realizing his connection. Also tonight, Belgian police have arrested seven people who they say are linked to the attacks. Dramatic new video shows a raid yesterday in Brussels. The terrorists on Friday night attacked a concert hall, cafes, and France's national stadium. The attacks put the country on edge, and even so, even more today after there was a big false alarm. CBS Force Kenneth Craig begins our team coverage from Paris. <laughs> Exploding firecrackers sent people running for cover at the Plaza de République in Paris on Sunday. Mourners were gathered at a memorial for the victims of Friday's deadly attacks when chaos erupted. It's terrifying. We don't know if we should be afraid and stay home or if it's no resistance to, to go out in Paris. It's crazy. There was a near stampede as people ran inside a restaurant for safety. Near Notre Dame, people attending a memorial service panicked when they saw police with guns drawn running around them. This woman compares Paris to Beirut, Jerusalem and Tel Aviv, saying now we have to get used to the idea that these things can happen. Despite the panic, many Parisians are determined to fight the fear and refuse to change their daily lives. It's been um, kind of an emotional roller coaster of, of ups and downs. Investigators believe three of the eight attackers were French citizens. A manhunt is underway right now to find one suspect who is still on the run. The terrorists attacked a concert hall, cafes, and France's national stadium. Some security experts say the massacre was well organized and sophisticated. These guys are communicating via these encrypted apps, right? The commercial encryption, which is very difficult, if not impossible, for governments to break. French military officials say airstrikes are underway on ISIS targets in Syria. And it is now Monday morning here in Paris, and we did get word that museums are expected to open here about 1 o'clock this afternoon. But at the same time, there are reports that the state of emergency here could continue upwards of three months, Natalia. Mm. And after you saw, Kenneth, those, those false alarms that were happening there on the streets, was there a lot of security changes you saw immediately put into place, or has it been pretty much tight all the way around? Well, there have been a lot of law enforcement, of course, out on the streets and military, thousands uh, of both. But certainly when those happen, uh, happened, authorities mobilized and they mobilized very quickly. They ran into place. There were guns drawn, many in uh, sort of SWAT gear with uh, semi-automatic uh, uh, weapons uh, when that happened. A very uh, scary moment that had a lot of people on edge. I imagine. Okay, thank you so much. Kenneth Krebb reporting live for us from Paris.